Love has two sides. One is related to God and the other is related to people. Let's see what the Bible said in this part because it is very serious. When they asked Jesus the all-important question, which is the great commandment in the, in the law, Jesus gave two answers with one response. This is from Matthew 22. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. When the Pharisee said these verses, Jesus stopped him and told him to do what he said so he will go to heaven. So the person who loves God and others is the one who will go to heaven. It's as simple as that. However, I want to repeat that this cannot exclude faith in Jesus and in baptism. We don't cancel these things out, but the life of any Christian should be lived by this verse. And one of the characteristics of true love is that it believes. If you love God, you will believe Him in everything. If you love people, you will believe that people can be good, whatever they are. It is related to love hopes all things, meaning it expects the best. If you love a person, you cannot give up on him no matter what happens. Let's discuss love believes all things as it relates to God. We have a concept that God is the one who loves us, not the opposite. We as Christians have a problem of not tasting God's love enough. We say God is love and have faith that he loves us, but we don't feel it. We don't enjoy his love. That's why we get depressed and anxious. If we feel his love, we will be the happiest people on earth. Nothing will shake us because love believes all things. I'm talking to the servants now. Let's do an evaluation of our lives. Weak trust in God makes the servant be in a bad place. We have a trust crisis. We don't trust people or God enough. Why don't I trust God even if I am a servant or a priest? I love God so I should trust Him completely. This trust crisis appears when I get disappointed easily. When someone gets disappointed easily, this means that his love for God is little. The person who loves God trusts that he does the best thing for him, so he doesn't get disappointed. Abraham waited every year for a child. Since he was 60 years old, God told him that he will have a child. He had Isaac when he was 100 years old. He didn't get disappointed during those 40 years because love believes all things. He trusted God and didn't get bored or upset or angry. If I get disappointed when I can't find a job or get a husband or reach a goal, does this mean that God doesn't love you? He absolutely does love you. If he didn't answer your request or was tardy or late, does this cancel his love? Mistrust in God makes us disappointed easily. It also makes us trust ourselves more than God. This problem happens with many servants. This makes a servant not enjoy his service. Many servants are very happy in their services because they feel that God is carrying them. They believe that they are children and God does it all. This makes them very happy. Many others believe that they are the ones who will change and do everything. They are anxious and angry all the time because they are depending on themselves. This is, this is because of mistrust in God. Not trusting God makes the servant expect less. He cannot dream big. Ask the servant, how many do you expect to come back to your class next Sunday school? He might say, maybe half of them. Why? You should wish that everyone will come. Pray so everyone comes. But you find him talking in a way that doesn't have high hopes. Not trusting God makes the servant doubt. Imagine that a servant who served for years doubts God because a problem happened. He asks, does God exist? Does he love me? Is the church right? Will you doubt everything because you had some troubles? You erase God who created you and saved you? You act like a child who says that his father hates him because he didn't agree to get him a new toy and say that he is not his father. This is crazy. How did he come to be if he is not his father? How did you come to be if there is no God? Not trusting God makes the person ungrateful. Whoever trusts God gives thanks to God all the time. He is happy with everything, whatever happens. Not trusting God makes people give up easily. It is also related to trusting people. He also cannot trust people. A person with strong faith trusts people easily. 
Some people don't trust anyone unless it is proven otherwise. The true Christian trusts you unless it is proven that you are not trustworthy. A true Christian must get cheated sometimes because he trusts easily. He is wise, but he has no problem being cheated. Jesus himself was being robbed, but kept his trust in Judas. Why? Because love believes all things. He hoped that Judas would repent. Where there is love, hope exists. But the person who doubts everyone doesn't know love, nor does he trust God. The person who doesn't trust God can't take risks. Young men and missionaries throw themselves in harsh situations and leave everything behind because they trust that they are in God's hands. Taking risks means trusting God. But calculating everything ahead cannot work with God. When God sent Thomas to India, he didn't know if he would come back, and he didn't. Likewise with St. Mark. But they did great and changed the whole world even if they didn't return. Not trusting God makes the person run from troubles. And problems. A servant may say that he wants to leave the service at the first sign of trouble. Ministry is not a game. It is God's business. It's normal to have some problems. Satan will always fight. Why are you afraid? Doesn't God have your back? Not trusting God makes a person withdraw. Withdrawal from the service means not trusting God. Didn't God work? Did he break his promises? No, it's your problem. You don't trust, but God knows what he is doing. If you love God more, you will trust Him more, and you will go to heaven easier. Our overarching topic is who will go to heaven. The person who will go to heaven is he who loves God very much, not just loves Him. Everyone loves God, but it's not easy. Who, whoever loves Him so much must trust Him so much. Father Mina, may God rest his soul, didn't ask to be healed, and he was waiting for heaven as if he was going to his wedding. He had no problem leaving, although he had children, and we all loved him and didn't want him to go. But for him, he was happy because he trusted God truly. He was in a hurry to depart. This is not how we think. We think that this is a waste and that God could have cured him. What is that? We will teach God what to do? He once told someone this, How can you tell God what to do? You can't say that. Don't pray that again. This was his spontaneous answer because he loved God truly and trusted in him truly. In Romans 14, 8, If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's.